Yeah, so I am back with another vlog and right now I'm waiting for my client. I'm hoping she's not outside and she like just didn't text me. So currently it's probably like 10 5. I'm like waiting for my client right now. I'm a little tired and I came in here a little late. Um, so I'm about to go back outside to make sure she's not here before like it's too late because I do have a 12 hour shift today and I know I probably sound really tired. I am tired. But I am going to be here from 10 to about 8, 8.30 today. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not hyped. But all right, so let me get up and go before I miss out on some money because I'm sitting here talking. Hello? 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 Uh, yeah, you can close this oh. thing. Okay. I don't know why I thought you would use that. Really? <laughs> Are you just getting, um, nude and white? Um, um, like a light pink okay. bracelet. And, um, for the shape, can you do like skinny coffee? Um, I could try to do a skinny coffee. Okay. I can Yeah, that's just the main thing. Like with my nails, I like them like skinny. Um, okay. Yeah, I I was actually going to my nail tech for like three years, and she just stopped like doing nails. Like yeah, so like I went to somebody else already, but I didn't really like like their shape. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so, like, I was on your Instagram, and I was like, okay, let me go see. Because I live in Decatur, but, mm -hmm. like, I'll drive, you know, 30 minutes to come get my nails done. Like, you know, like... Do you have a, um, a picture of... Um, yeah, I have pictures of, like, my own shirts. Huh? Was she pregnant? The nail tech? Um, I think she just, like, got her bag, you know? And, like, I think she started investing her bread, and she's, like, doing, like, other things now. Okay. Yeah, so I couldn't really be mad at her. You know, I was sad. I was just, like, you know, like... I feel that. <laughs> Are you from here, from Georgia? No, I'm actually from San Diego. Mm. Yeah, I live out here now though. You like it? Um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's different. Um, I miss the beach. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm sure. It's, I'm definitely. <laughs> but um, my boyfriend is out here, so like okay. you know, it makes everything better. Like yeah, like I tried being in Cali for like a couple months, and like I couldn't do it. You know, like, I had to come back. <laughs> so how long have you um been here, like officially? So like on and off for like five years. Okay. But like I, I go back, I used to go back for like a few months at a time. But then like in May, me and my boyfriend got together. So okay. it was like over with, like I was like crying on the plane. I was like, yeah, I can't, like I can't do this. I'm already know how that goes. <laughs> I like it was cool. Do you like the cater? Um, not really. I kind of want to move out of there. Like my boyfriend lives in East Point. Okay. And he's from Atlanta, so he knows like all the areas. Okay. You know, I really don't know anything, but you know, I, just, I, feel, like, I definitely. Don't know. <laughs> he's like, you probably know Beaver Highway. I was like, why? Because all the Mexicans are down there. <laughs> I'm crying. Maybe <laughs> I know this is like stereotypical, but like, do you guys experience like mini quakes and stuff in Cali? Like, is that really? Um. Thing? Yeah. Earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've experienced mm -hmm. a, a few in my lifetime. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So it's just like little aftershocks, I guess. Kind of, yeah. Like, like when I was in Riverside, um, there was a pretty bad earthquake. Like the freaking pool was moving, like the walls I seen moving, you know. And like the next day, nobody was even talking about it. Like it was just okay. <laughs> but I was so scared. So like, what do you like? What do you do? Like what's um, the they only last like four or five seconds. So by the time you like even think to do something, like I literally was just looking at the pool and then I looked back and I seen the walls like in the hallway, like kind of moving back and yeah. forth. And I was like, oh shit! And then it just stopped. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll just continue doing whatever I was doing. Like I get that. 
Yeah, I haven't visited New York since I think 2020, maybe. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, you have your family out there? Yeah, most of my family started to move here though, so now it's about 50 50. So I really don't go now because they just come oh, here. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Yeah. Though. Cause I don't, I don't know. Last time I went there, I felt so homesick. It was too loud. The people playing their music outside 3 a.m. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. Like it just wasn't me anymore. Mm -mm. I really didn't like it. I like it's three in the morning. I still at the corner playing the damn music. I feel like New York is like a movie. Like you know, cause like I used to watch Sex in the City. Like you know, it's definitely a movie. <laughs> Crazy. I'm already fucking <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, I was just in LA. Um, my homegirl, uh, she lives out here in Atlanta. So like when we met, we we've been cool since then. Okay. She's from LA. I'm from Dago. And uh, she was in LA one time, and I was in Dago, so I drove up there. How far? And is it was it? like a couple months ago. Uh, I was like two hours. And so yeah, we had a good little time. You know, it was cool. Like had some tacos and shit. <laughs> I've been hearing about them food trips. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ginger ale and shit. <laughs> and pretzels. <laughs> oh my god. I was so glad I didn't have nobody next to me either. Like, I was about to say, girl, I had some shit like that happened to me before. I was on a plane. I had ate an edible and it was one of those gummies and it was real small. I should have yeah. ate that whole nah. thing. No, no, exactly. You should, I ate the whole thing too. I, mean, yeah, like, I was on the plane tripping. Yeah, you know, it's so like, It's gonna be a few hours in this bitch. And like, I'm like, girl, <laughs> that shit kicked out of nowhere. I started looking around. Like and I'm in the row by myself because it's during COVID, so I'm looking yeah. around everywhere. The plane move. I'm like, I'm gonna scream. Like, I'm gonna to scream so bad. I'm like, if you scream, you're gonna look crazy because everybody else got their windows like down, and I'm yeah. oh, <laughs> looking looking stupid. Her yesterday, and it's funny because I've always been going to her like even when I had a nail tech, and like when I go in there with my nails done, like like they always give me bad looks, like like all the other, all her like coworkers, what the you hell? know, like. <laughs> Why? Because you're not getting your service. Yeah, right? yeah, but like, I'm That's still, so funny. Like, you're still getting, right. Still doing something, you know. I don't like that. I hate that. My client is coming in. Like, I don't like that. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. 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 I'm not gonna lie.
I mean, a month from now, your nails might still be on. So you might, you know, okay. be able to get a fill. Okay. So you won't have to take them off. But you let me know if anything. Yes, girl. Thanks again. Thank you again. Be safe. You too, girl. You too, girl. Alexa, pause. I hope I don't look like somebody grandmother, but... That was my first client. She got some medium um, French tips. I kid y'all not. I think that's the best I've done. Some French tip nails. I have been really, really moving slow recently doing nails. Just because I'm trying to like perfect my craft. Y'all yeah, know I'm always trying to perfect something. And my next client is... Um, she was outside. She did come here early. But I did tell her to give me like two seconds. Just so that I could thoroughly um, clean everything up. She is getting a pedicure. So... She is getting a pedicure, so I did have to kind of like clean stuff up real quick. So I'm about to um, finish wiping my table. Oop. I'm about to finish wiping my table down, and then I'm going to go and get her. Oh, she's, she's here. Hold on. So how's it going with your man, boo? <laughs> I want to know about that. <laughs> it was, it's good. Um, He came to get me, and he dropped me off at the concert. She dropped you off? Oh, mm -hmm. ain't that nice. Yeah, we had went to oh my god, girl, ew. We had went to this um this food place and we was in there. This guy, like this drunk older man, like he had to be like over fifty. He's in there, he's drunk as hell, and the football game is playing, so you know, he's being extra loud. So I'm kind of annoyed, but it's like oh no. That's it's like whatever. Like he's the only person at the bar besides us now. And there's people sitting at the table. Yeah. And he's turning around joining their conversations like just being annoying and drunk like so i'm trying not to look at him so he don't say nothing to us, but i guess it's so weird when you give him a one look that's it it's <laughs> it's over for you it's a, it's over literally that big ass mouth opens up i'm like yo what the hell like so <coughs> he starts talking to, um he starts talking to this girl and she Oh, cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He starts talking to Cal because I guess Cal probably looked at him after I said don't look oh, at him. Um, <laughs> so he, he had said some weird shit calling me milk chocolate. And then then he asked Cal, does he get that milk for free? I said, what? He did not he just say did. that. I said, hmm? so disrespectful. <laughs> Girl. Nah, so this Saturday, last Saturday, I went to go wash my clothes. So there's this black dude in there, which scared me because me and my dog, we thought we were the only ones there, but I guess he, he says, Oh, I'm Paul. Wait, where was that at? He was inside this laundry mat because I don't have oh, laundry at me neither, girl. I don't have that shit. So I have to go wash my clothes out mm -hmm. there. And I guess he was in the bathroom and I didn't. He scared me. I was like, Whoa, okay. I thought it should be my daughter washing her clothes and. He was like, what's your name? Because you sound like you have an accent. Do I talk when I have an accent to you? Man? I mean, I could tell you from up north, like a little further up. Right? Yeah. Okay. Because I want to, no, because I felt, well, thank you. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I had an accent, but. <laughs> but I was like, I was dressed all ugly. My hair was all in a funk. Yeah, my, I had no makeup. I had nothing on pretty. This dude was like, talk, girl. Okay, I don't know how this guy, this guy talks to anybody because he's like, I'm like, what? He's like, what? Dude, do you need a microphone? Do you, what do you need? Because I have to, oh my goodness. Oh my God, why was that so funny? I don't know, but that dude was weird to me. Yeah, because why are you whispering all in your ear like that? So... He just keeps talking about being homeless. He has a daughter. He's like, are you married? I'm like, yes. I've been with him for like nine years. But he made it sound like, nah, you guys ain't that serious. Like, oh, wait, wait, here? what? I'm like, how the fuck do you know my life? Like, Are you trying to tell y'all y'all not serious? Um, dude. The like, homeless man? The homeless man, yes. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>
swear to God, I'm gonna marry you one day. <laughs> I swear to God. You're so cute. I appreciate that. So have you done this with others? Um, I think you might have, right? Not like this. No. Figure. Yeah, I'm not like. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, definitely not like this. That's why I wanted to try it out. And I had liked the picture, but I didn't want to copy it. Oh, okay, okay. So I think it's a little different, but I really don't even. <laughs> All right, so I just finished cleaning up. Um, why do I keep losing my mandrel? But oh my back! Oh, I found it. Oh, Alexa, what time is it? All right, she definitely should be here. All right, y'all. So my client didn't come. Um, it's currently 2.30. I told myself by, well, it's not 2.30. I think it's a little bit past 2.30. But I told myself if 2.30 comes and she's not still here, then I'm just going to consider, uh, consider it canceled. I'm a wee bit salty. Ah, it wasn't in my plan today to have to do that. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. Probably do my nails. I definitely want to do my nails. There's a lot of stuff I want to do with my channel. Like, I've been watching a lot of, like, really big YouTubers. Um, I've been watching a lot of really, really big YouTubers. So, I've just been trying to grab different things from different people and see how I can expand my channel. Like, yeah, I've, I've grown my channel pretty big. But I am just trying to see, like, what can I do more for my channel? Um, what can I do to be a little more entertaining? Like, I feel like I've been taught you everything with nails. So, I am kind of asking you guys to, you know, help out a little bit. If you do have anything that, you know, you personally would like to see. So, I think I'm going to just have fun. Do some nails on myself. I really want to do some duck nails. So, I'll probably, like, do one hand real quick and then keep them. Because I actually would like to start wearing nails again. So, I think I'm going to just do a pop-up set on my hand real quick. With some duckies and... Just go from there. I am a little upset on my client not coming because I had like a new idea for like YouTube videos and stuff like that. I have something in mind. I'm not going to tell y'all just yet because I don't want nobody stealing my idea. But I do have a couple little things I want to do. So I guess I'm going to start doing my nails. I'm happy that the last two sets came out really cute. My first client, I know that you guys peeped when she first came in. The first thing she started doing was talking about like her last nail tape, how she was going to her consistently. Normally, when I get clients and they start doing that, I get a little nervous because now I know that you have a nail tech that you're used to and I not have competition, but you're actively searching for somebody that's just as good or better than your nail tech. So, you know, you can have somebody consistent again. So I'm just trying to, you know, well, when I was doing her nails, I was really just going really slow and trying my best. Those took me about two hours and 15 minutes. Um, normally it doesn't take as long, but it was a little cold in here. And like I said, I was just moving a little slower and I feel like her nails came out exactly how I envisioned them. They came out really pretty. I didn't really like them, but I'm going to start, I'm going to stop running my mouth and get to doing my nails and recording some content. So I'm not just sitting here in the meantime. <sighs> my client did not show up i'm trying to decide if i'm going to text her or if i'm going to wait until tomorrow because on your acuity i think i'm saying that right on your acuity website you could see when exactly it was that your client opened and received your email 
or text message. So I do send out reminder text messages when you book an appointment with me, probably like a day and two days before your appointment, as well as reminder emails. So I checked her email. Well, I checked, you know, my stuff on my website. And it said that, you know, she opened the email this morning. So I'm like, okay, she opened the reminder email this morning and the um, other reminder email um, yesterday or text message or whatever. But she didn't show up. So I'm going to wait until probably tomorrow. And if she doesn't show, I'll text her. Normally, if you know call no show, I block them. But since she's came to me four times this year and I'm not really too sure why she didn't come and she didn't communicate, I'm trying to, you know, still keep my client, especially because everybody's talking about slow season and this month for me so far has been really really good so i am just trying to keep my clientele especially my returning clients i do not play i try my hardest to make sure i keep my clients coming back and just for you i am going to be doing <clears throat> well i am going to be doing 50 percent off of my ebook that's talking about building clientele and 50 percent off my ebook that talks about building um other sources of income as a nail tech because stuff like this y'all her appointment was literally over $200. Yes, I got a $40 deposit, but that's still a lot of money out of my pocket for today because she did not show up. And I don't charge the card amount for no-shows because some people do lock their cards or they want to argue about it, even though they read the policies, didn't read the policies. I rather just not go through all of that. I mean, personally, I don't do that. And I just make sure that I have other sources of income. So within the meantime... Um, as you guys can see, I was showing you guys a little bit earlier that I had used my free time to basically do a couple little promo videos, just little stuff like that, because I'm sitting here like, what am I going to do? So I always make sure that I have different stuff to do. I feel like as a service provider, as a business owner, point blank period, you should always have another source of income because you really do never know. And I was a little bit upset about it earlier because I had this new idea for my YouTube channel and I was really excited, but... I'm going to say the idea for tomorrow. All right, so I'm about to sit down and eat. Hold up. I had to take my retainers out. Y'all can't see that. And I love fortune cookies. Um, And I love duck sauce. So I got a bunch. I always take a handful of duck sauce. But... Literally, I'm about to eat. Um, my last plan is getting something really simple. And she was supposed to come at 6, but she'll probably arrive today around like 5. I'm really, really thankful for her because she didn't have to come early. She could have been like, no, I'll still come at 6. And I would have been sitting here for an extra hour. I would have had something to do, but it just wasn't in my plan. I know I keep talking about the no show, but it just wasn't in my plan today. And I was really excited to be fully booked this week. So... When people start last minute um, rescheduling and like kind of messing up what I had going on, I'm like, dang, I know stuff happens, you feel me? But it's just all about communication. Like, what I'm going to say, you can't cancel. I had went to this marketing brunch um, over the weekend. I also went to a Travis Scott concert over the weekend too. Not the point. So at the, um, at the brunch, she did like two giveaways. So the first giveaway was like $1,000 worth of like graphic designs like for your business. The other winner, like the other item you can win was an iPad. So you have to put your name in like a bag so that you know she could pick out the bag. So I'm putting my name in the bag. I'm writing my name. Um, and as I'm putting my name in the bag, I'm like, okay, 
I have an iPad, right? But I really want to win this iPad because if I win this iPad, a Christmas gift, like, you know, like, or I could sell it and buy Christmas gifts, but I just thought it would be super cool if I won the iPad. So, and, you know, I'm real, like, tapped in. Like, I'm not psychic or nothing, but when it comes to, like, manifesting and stuff, little, little weird, like, random stuff tends, ooh, excuse me, little, like, weird stuff tends to randomly manifest really quickly for me so i'm trying to manifest big things too so like i was saying so i was putting um my name in the box and i'm like you know what i'm gonna win this ipad period i'm gonna win and i really wasn't thinking too much of it like after i had the thought it just kind of blew over yeah she get to picking the names out the box she put i think she picked out one name and she was like oh i think i peeked at it so she put it back scramble it up again pick it up she's like I don't want to say this wrong. Once she said that, Taj's your name. I don't know. I feel it. I felt it. I knew it. I don't know how I knew it, but I knew it. So I went on the iPad and I had to take a picture. And I was really upset because, like, my hair, y'all, you know, my hair was not eating that day. Like, I'm not going to lie. The concert was the day before. My wig done came off. It just looked bad. So, but when she showed me the picture on a little screen, I was like, oh, that's a cute little picture because I couldn't see. But when the, the girl that posted um the photo posted the photo, I was like, ugh, that's you. I'm going to show y'all because my hair looked real bad. I'm going to zoom in. My hair looked so bad. I was honestly really upset, but like I wasn't going to message her like, hey, you took that picture down. Like I look crazy, but it is what it is. Um, something told me when I woke up that morning to put on a different wig because I knew at that concert I done messed that wig up, but it's all good. I was just happy that I didn't shy away from the camera and I actually posed. Like, I don't look ugly, but that frontal, that frontal look ugly. Some Chinese food on so good. Um, it's a Chinese food right there. Oh, right there. Oh, let's see. You, um, you want that exact picture, that exact the colors and stuff? You want silver? I mean, I have gold, I have purple chrome, I have all the colored chromes. Let gold. Mm -hmm. I just was looking at the Oh, yeah, you're right. It is like a, a two. I don't know what right. it is. Do you want... Do you want the pearls? Or did you want me to replace them with rhinestones? Or did you not want them? Whichever one you think. I like the pearls, but I'm okay with rhinestones. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was asking. Yeah. No. Um, you know, easy. Okay. <laughs> Alexa, play the album Nothing Was the Same by Drake on Apple Music. Was this the sweet you were in before? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember it being I, so far. I probably uh, switched it around, but not the same. Um, yeah, I think you did switch because I think it was facing this way before. <laughs> My mom just asked me about Tutu. She's like, did you just yeah, that's really good. A couple times sprinkled in the year now. Yeah, you know. A couple times. Yeah, yeah. Now jazz it up. You know, sometimes I just be getting like the regular stuff. And I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, Tasha, you about to do this. <laughs> no, I do plain stuff. Really? Oh. I don't. Yeah, I didn't think you did. Yeah, I do. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd be like, for Yeah, I don't want to do that. Nah, right. I used to be like that, but now I don't be caring. I'm just oh. like, this calm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I, um, right before this, I had, they're just like regular red. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. I was like, this is so, it was like a vintage, it's like a vintage baddie. Oh, okay. like, yeah, like, the red. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm damn near 40, okay? Ooh, that's not funny. So what's she doing this year for your birthday? Um, having people over, the theme is things that start with N. You make very creative <laughs> Do they have to wear things or bring things? No, you gotta, you gotta dress up like something that starts with the letter N. So what you and mean, everybody, yourself? yeah. <laughs> Me, Nicole. I am crying. Oh. Dang, what the hell starts with an N? But the funny thing is everybody's first name, they're like, nigga. And I'm like, <laughs> Literally everybody. Are you gonna come like, as a nigga? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, really, y'all? Like, I'm gonna come up with. You can be a nun. All right. What else? You can be a ninja. I was about to say a nigga. <laughs> you can be a nigga. You can be a ninja. 
You can be a nerd. Okay, a nurse. You can be a nurse. Nerd. See, look, you get me. I think my mom blacked on her before. I think I know who you're talking about. Because my brother was always getting into something. Uh -huh. I definitely remember hearing about my mom going off on her. I hope she did. I hope your mom blocked her too. <laughs> 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 anyway, thank you again. Yeah. I hope you enjoy your birthday. Be safe. Pause. Alexa, pause. All right, y'all. So I just finished with my last client. Woo! It's cold. My last client was my I teacher from high school. And I got a little headache right now. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So I'm literally about to basically go home. It's currently 7.30. So as you guys know, my second, no, my third client didn't come. So that was my fourth client. So I think today I made, let's see. I think I probably made like 2.30 today, some, something around that. Like two today, still thankful, still blessed. You know, I'm not complaining, but I'm about to go home. I'm ready to go. So let me know down below if y'all would like to see more vlogs. I am about to head home. It is freezing, my car is freezing. Luckily what my last client got was really minimum and I didn't have too many materials out, so it really didn't take me long to like clean up real quick and stuff. I do really appreciate her coming today. But I am gonna show, what? I am gonna see you guys in my next vlog. I'm trying to record and put on the seatbelt. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next vlog.